All right, Shalom, Shalom to the full elect of the nation of Israel. Mm -hmm. We're going to start off this lesson by giving all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh. All right, and double honors to the apostles and the El Sabir Millstone who rule well and have taught us this word in truth and sincerity. And peace and mercy to the old full elect that are also pushing this word in truth and sincerity across the four corners of the earth. As well as you little mom and sisters that believe, peace and mercy to you and your household. So uh, in today's lesson, Shalom. Right, Shalom, in today's lesson, we're going to get into um, what Esau likes to call UAPs. All right, which uh, stands for Unidentified Aerial Phenomenon. And that's what Esau calls them. But according to the scriptures, these are the chariots, all right, the vehicles of the Heavenly Father that are operated by the angels. Okay, so all these sightings that uh, we, we are seeing and have been seeing over the past couple of years, and really, they've been out there for decades and centuries. For, uh, yeah, centuries, the chariots have been out there since the beginning of time. But as of recently, man, there's been a lot of sightings of um, these so-called uh, UFOs or East Coast called UAPs, which are just the chariots of the Heavenly Father. And these are, um, among many, they're also uh, a sign unto us of the whole full left that, guess what? Our Savior, Yahweh Shai, is near. All right, and he's visiting the earth. Okay, so I'm gonna play this uh, small clip here, and then we, and then we'll get the precepts out on um, the chariots. And you know, you're gonna see. You basically, you're seeing that Esau, because Esau isn't ready for the host of the Lord, as you see the title says here. And the host of the Lord, the word host, goes into armies, the army of the heavenly Father. And uh, you're seeing Esau trying to take hold or control of the narrative of these uh, chari of the chariots and uh, saying that uh, they have uh, made you know such and such contact with the ships and different pieces and they uh, assume them to be you know uh, green men and whatnot. All that is just all that is just uh, Esau. And his deceive and his deceive deceivableness, deceivableness mm -hmm. is causing upon the whole earth and mainly you Jakes. But you know, those of us that are endowed with the Holy Spirit, Yahweh um through Yahweh Shai, via Yahweh Shai, we understand that these are the chariots of the Heavenly Father, and uh, these are going to be used as instruments to save the whole full elect and also destroy Esau's wicked kingdom. Cam video is going viral and blowing up our Fox Tim website. Yes, the video shows what he believes looks like a ghost, some other people do too, on the side of the freeway. Look behind you. Insane. Whoa, did you see that just shoot across? Did anyone else? They even talked about some of the G-forces that they've seen, which in simplest terms, it's when you feel your body accelerating against gravity. What about G-forces? Let's talk about G-forces of those vehicles. Could a human survive those G-forces with known technology today? No. no not for the acceleration. And you're going to hear Esau kind of go into his speculation of the chariots and whatnot. And, um, you know, he's going to go off here. He's going to go off there. Um, but uh, basically, it's a sign that shows that Esau, he really doesn't know what to do with these, uh, with mm -hmm. these with the, with the chariots of the Heavenly Father. All right, these, this is heavenly technology, and basically he's uh, what you what you call it. He's uh, nervous. All right, acceleration rates that we observed. And now the other question, which is, we don't exactly get things arriving from other solar systems that often, right? Help us understand how big a deal it is, um, and is that why it's called Interstellar Meteor One? Because there isn't one before it. Which uh, interstellar just means uh, inter means between, and stellar means uh, goes back to stars. So the things that are in between the stars. Right. Uh, this is the first one I like, such object before Hiroshima atomic bomb when it exploded several kilometers in size and it melted off its surface fell from a large object on just security and strategic surprise. If this is correct, then this changes the fabric of our understanding of what it means to be human. And I myself am encouraged that we're going to learn more extremely soon, not just through bureaucrats, not just through the legal system, but there are other ways in which people get truth out. And I'm excited for that. 
I'm, I'm glad you're encouraged. I'm glad you're excited. I am frustrated because it seems like the truth is out there. It's just inside of a skiff that I don't have. No, Doug, uh, it's like inches closer every day. You've been on this beat. You've been on this beat, and you know it is inches closer every day. It took William Church who was behind. Yeah, and you basically, the vibration is going out. Everybody can feel it in their spirit that something is getting ready to take place. Yeah, I got a preset, brother, Con. on this because, um, you know, <laughs> all right. Um, First Thessalonians 5 and 3, okay? It's a powerful precept, but start at the top, brother, to the third verse. The point, the point is in the third verse, right? Con. First Thessalonians chapter five, verse three, and it reads: Start at the top, brother. Oh, yeah, it's lock here. Thessalonians chapter five, verse one. But of the times and the seasons, brethren, ye have. No need that I write on to you. Right? Hey, just think about it, right? Um, just saying there, the apostles are, are pushing out uh, 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 in the spirit instruction in regards to uh, testimonies, okay? Living testimonies that we ought to be uh, going to the mediator and cry to him, right? But it says here, you know, I have to write on to you. Now, when you go into the lesson, that's a different story. But I'm just using this as an object lesson to say, uh, the men of the Lord, starting with uh, those who are committed, man, <laughs> you, you, we know we love it when the apostles uh, 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 encourage us and tell us to do these things. Okay, so, just want to mention that in essence, right? And this was not written in the time when he spoke it. But go ahead, brother. Con. It says, um, verse two: For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahshai. So cometh as a thief in the night. Right? Straight forward. Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> right? He did say, oh, the truth is not just uh, between you and me. and it's, it's out there somewhere. And if he's watching this video, or if you get across to it, <laughs> the truth's going to come out as the spirit would have it come out. Go ahead, brother. Yeah. And basically, you know, no one, when no one would be, when the Lord came, when the Lord comes, no, no one but the whole full elect all right, we'd be looking for the Lord, all right? So these signs, and the scriptures also talk about how the signs that we see in the heavens, you know, starting with the chariots and, and the stars and the moon, um, these are all signs that the heathens are dismayed at, mm -hmm. okay? But the whole full elect, we're not dismayed, right, at these signs in heaven. Rather, we're encouraged, okay? So... It says, verse 3, for when they shall say, peace and safety, uh, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. All right. Yeah, so basically that's what they're they're, they're crying out, peace and safety. These so-called men and, and, and all these people behind it, they're basically saying that. And they're, they're, hear, they're hearing it from uh, 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 their leaders, but their <laughs> leaders are interpreting it in a different way. They're saying that, you know, uh, these aliens and UAPs are, are doing these strange things and, and appearing and blah, 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 blah. But the scripture says in Psalms, uh, 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 Psalms 55 and 21, if I may read it, the words of his mouth were smoother than butter, but war was in his heart. So this peace and safety talk, it's all about really war for them to end this system, right? And to, more importantly, get up on get up on the election right warn his heart his words were softer than oil yet were drawn swords so behind the scenes the people on top of these people we know uh that this is what's going on in in their mind in their minds to do wickedly right but i just thought i'd bring that precept out just to show the peace and safety is really not about peace and safety Right and sudden destruction, which is a, gr a great topic that goes into the missiles for uh, verse three. Anyway, that's a point I want to meet on that. Time. Um, actually, I got a precept too, real quick. Mm -hmm. This is uh, Proverbs fifteen and uh, three. Right, and it reads. The eyes of the Lord, Yahweh, are in every place, right? Beholding the evil and the good, you see? 
and basically the eyes of the Lord are the, are the angels. Mm -hmm. And the angels, they can either fly around um, by themselves or fly in chariots, okay? And basically the angels are on the earth, all right, taking reports of what's, of what's going on and as well working on the minds of uh, the various kings to what fulfill and play out prophecies. Okay, because there's different, um, there's different, uh, what, should, what should I say, uh, aspects to the chariots. There's different jobs. They're here. They do, they, they do different things, man. They they um, destroy, they save, they work on the minds of different kings, right? They lead. You know, sometimes they just show up just to make an appearance and play around with Esau and his technology, just to let him, let him know that, you know what, he's nowhere near um the technology of the heavenly father um precept to that brother just to if somebody Hold is on, let me just get this yeah, word real quick uh mm -hmm. the word eyes here says mm -hmm. um eyes of uh, a physical eye as mm -hmm. showing mental qualities mm -hmm. of mental spirit spiritual faculties right okay include what the angels the angels are a spiritual fac faculty of the heavens okay um what else does it give us here uh that's about it on that so yeah the eyes of the lord which are the chariots are what are in every place beholding the evil and the good so that's why we're seeing all these different sightings and some of them are fabricated. We know Esau, you know, he's doing his left hand side stuff, but some of them aren't. And we know that that's what they're here to do, man. They're here to take report mm -hmm. on this evil kingdom. Okay. Go ahead, Malak. You say you had your precept. Yeah, Sirach 23 and 19, brother. Time. Just to verify everything that you broke down there, the scripture goes with that one. Sirach uh, 19, you said? No, 23 and 19. Okay, so this is uh, Sirach, also known as, uh, no, also known as Ecclesiasticus 23, verse 19, yep. and it reads, Such a man only fears the eyes of men. Um, uh, slap it. Such a man only fears the eyes of men and knoweth not that the eyes of the Lord are 10,000 times brighter than the sun, beholding all the ways of men, you see, and considering the most secret parts, right? That's the angels. They are also known as the messengers of the Heavenly Father. So get, what do they do? They relay messages back and forth from here to the spiritual realm to the heavenly father through Yahweh Shai. okay as to what's going on and that's how we're able to get access okay to esau's uh devices as the scriptures say we are not ignorant of esau's devices of satan's devices and the only way that we would not be uh ignorant of his devices is by the way of this truth this knowledge the angels which are the holy spirit Right, working on the minds of the whole full elect, starting with the hundred and forty four thousand that would be teaching this word. Um, you want me to keep going? No, maybe later. Okay, that's okay. All right. We might go back to it later. Let's see what it says. Go ahead, brother. Continue with the video. God, let's play a little bit more of this clip. Mm -hmm. Behind the wheel by surprise, I actually twitched the wheel. Um, to, to miss whoever it was. Erica Lake just finished her shift and church took over. And an hour later, he saw what looks like a person at first on the side of State Route 87, about 40 miles northeast of Phoenix. At first, I thought it was a human. And then when you can't really see the face and the top of the body up, I was kind of, I wonder what. And then we were thinking about maybe it's, it's a ghost. It wasn't until church was at the next rest stop when he took a closer look. I don't know if it was a person or if it was something spiritual or something but it was in the form of a human that's all i know this video has them questioning what they saw along with thousands of other people who have watched the video too he told us his f-18 squadron began seeing uaps hovering over restricted airspace southeast of virginia beach in 2014 when they updated their jets radar making it possible to zero in with infrared targeting cameras pilots training off the atlantic coast see things like that all the time every day 
every day for at least a couple of years. Um, wait a minute, every day for a couple of years? Mm -hmm. But they are grossly underreported. These sightings are not rare or isolated, they are routine. Military aircrew and commercial pilots, trained observers whose lives depend on accurate identification, are frequently witnessing these phenomena. If you believe we have crashed craft, uh, stated earlier, do we have the bodies of the pilots who piloted this craft? As I've stated publicly already in my News Nation interview. So, you know, <laughs> we know, obviously, there's no way Esau could put his hands on these angels, man. But again, this is just all to, you know, feed into that narrative. And basically, this is just propaganda. Esau is just trying to build propaganda and take control of the narrative and hide the truth right but you know the truth is already out and um, they that are meant to receive it all right the whole full elect will receive it there's nothing esau can do okay mm -hmm. you uh, came with some of these recoveries yeah um were they i guess human or program in efforts to cover up engineers UFOs. UFOs. The Pentagon has denied his claims. Democrats and Republicans in recent years have pushed for more research as a national security matter due to concerns that sightings observed by and I got this really quick on um, this article here that uh, I was just reading a little bit before going into the, the chariots. But uh, I'm just going to read. I'm going to read off my phone here real quick. Mm -hmm. and it just goes into. It says here. Um, more recently in America, after World War II, the number of the number of UFO sightings spiked. And as a result, our government formed a number of task, task forces to investigate. Perhaps the best known incident occurred in 1948 when uh, Roswell Army air fired airfield personnel recovered debris. And this is what they say they say they've covered debris from flyer disc, flying disc, and such. But again, you know, Esau doesn't have. The, the capabilities capabilities of doing so. Um, going on, it says, I don't dismiss the possibility we are being visited by aliens, which the word alien just means strangers. And you see, Esau is a devil, man. He perverses everything because technically Esau is a real stranger on the earth. All right. Um, that's why he that's why he was cursed. All right. Cain. Cain was cursed to be what a uh, fugitive and a vagabond, someone who's constantly on the run, on the earth and has no home. Okay, so he's technically the the true stranger, the alien. So it says further, I I'm quite aware there are th things my five senses, it smell, touch, taste, and hearing can't understand. You see, and they and this is what it's meant by when the scriptures say that the signs in heaven that the heathens are dismayed by them okay they can't understand what's going on and esau's getting nervous people are uh uh, uh people are claiming that they've uh touched ghosts and they're claiming they've seen this and do that the whole world is basically getting to a frenzy about these uh about the chariots mm -hmm. okay so it says and they may be real like radio waves for example, I believe there is a very real spiritual domain beyond our senses. You can call them aliens, angels, demons, or others. You know, and there you go. You know, Esau again, you know, basically making, make, trying to make it vague so it could be uh, left, left open to interpretation, which mm -hmm. leads to more confusion. Okay. Mm -hmm. A <clears throat> um, little bit more, it says, most religious religions address this spiritual reality. Certainly, the Jews, um, <laughs> Muslims, and Christians have rich history with ample evidence of spiritual en engagements. And basically, they go into uh, the Bible and certain, uh, certain events in our history when the angels fought our war for us. Okay, so I just wanted to read that a little bit. Now, I want to get this precept here in 2 Corinthians because, like I said earlier, that the angels, um, they have many purposes um, to their job, okay? So they destroy, they send messages, they uh, break down the scriptures and, 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 and prophecies to the prophets. Okay, they have many functions, man. Um, so like uh, just go to your point, uh these uh would be uh you're both uh either close. It's been going on for the past fifty years. 
there was an incident in Washington, D.C., where a bunch of carriers uh, they flew over Washington, D.C. in 1947. So it's been, it's been going on for quite a bit. Con. Yep. This is uh, Second, Second Chronicles 16 and 9. It says, For the eyes of the Lord Yahweh run to and fro throughout the whole earth mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to show himself strong in the behalf of them whose heart is perfect towards him. You see? So this is a function of the angels. The angels. <laughs> They are all over the earth, okay, on the behalf of the Heavenly Father and His Son to help out the hopeful elect, okay, in doing lessons, in studying, in receiving uh, the knowledge and understanding from the scriptures, okay? It says, whose heart is perfect towards Him, <laughs> right, in fear and in faith, mm -hmm. that would be the hopeful elect. Herein thou hast done foolishly, foolishly. Therefore, from henceforth, thou shalt have wars. And that's Esau. Esau has done foolishly. Okay. And he's eventually um, going to have to duke it out. Okay. With the heavenly, uh, with uh, Awa Shai and uh, Michael the Archangel. And uh, believe me, man, it's going to be a first round knockout. Okay. Complete in alienation of Esau is a military or space, a space air force. I got a precept. Yeah, go ahead, brother. Uh, Psalms 103, verse 20. Fine. Go ahead, you're good. And, and it reads, Bless the Lord, Yahweh, ye his angels that excel in strength. Right, and this word excel means either uh, to be superior or to surpass. So these congressmen up there uh, talking there, they're 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 spewing their 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 garbage that right. they have that they have, quote unquote aliens, you know they're talking garbage because right yep. here is telling in the in the scriptures the angels excel in strength that do these right. commandments right back, backing up what you were saying uh, they right. listen to the words of Yahweh Shai whether to help the men in the Lord and work on their minds or to mess with Esau and Esau's technology but whatever the Lord Yahweh says they do. Right, it's true. hearkening it's true. unto the voice of His word, bless ye the Lord Yahweh, all ye His hosts, hosts be armies, ye ministers of His that do His pleasure. Mm. Gone, go. right. um, to add to what the brother just said, um, the main leader like the, 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 who would be in charge of His angels would be Yahweh Shai, and always speaks of the Lord coming back with the host of angels. Mm -hmm. All right, and it's always been so. Most of the fights that Israel had, Yahweh was always there, man. Mm -hmm. Right, he's always the archangel, the ark of the ark, mm -hmm. right? The vanguard, the zenith, mm -hmm. the acme mm -hmm. of all these angels was always Yahweh. All right, because mm -hmm. he's the first begotten. Um, can you give me Exodus 20? Mm -hmm. 20 23 and 20, so that's like that. Con. Right, because we know our Lord is going to be traveling with multitude and manifold of angels in becoming in the fathership. Mm -hmm. Right, and he's not coming as we always make it known to give candy canes, all right, oh. or discount coupons to a Negro and get two, two for one pizza, <laughs> big, you know, a big gulp drink. You know what I mean? That's right. All right, so um, Exodus 23 and 20. Um, it says here, Exodus 23 and 20, Behold, I send an angel before thee. So, hold on. So we see that angel, the word angel there, you notice is a, is a capital A? Yeah. So that's, that's right. showing you it's a specific one, right? It's not just any angel. That angel right there represents Yahweh shot. Mm -hmm. All right, so behold, I send an angel before thee. Read. Uh, it says, uh, to keep thee in the way. I am the truth in the way. Right? And we know we have to be on a path. So the path basically signifies a way, a way that we have to walk. Right? That's basically walking in the spirit of Yahweh Shai. See what we're doing right now? We're exalted and we're showing 
the, the, um, is great qualities of what prophesying, right? Because the spirit of prophecy is the spirit of Yahweh Shai. Make videos daily. That's the spirit that he was in. Says I daily taught in the synagogues. That's right. All right. The chief mm -hmm. house. Keep reading. It says, and to bring thee into the place which I have prepared. So the Lord has uh, uh, something um, prepared for us. All right. So it's not it's not just 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 by chance. This all this thing is happening. This has uh, has meaning to it. All right. So which is why the, the apostles got a spirit to say, "Hey, brothers, do more videos, man. We're gonna flood, right? Their their airwaves. Mm -hmm. right? We're gonna make them sick of us, right? We're taunting these devils. All right. Because what we want our Lord to return. Right? And the quicker we, the more videos we put out, the more hopefully the elect will, will get risen up." Right, and Lord does was bring judgment, man, to the earth. Yep. Keep reading. It says, um, "Beware of him, and obey his voice." Which is through the prophets, right? We have to obey the Lord's voice. That's what we're doing right now. And the Lord also speaks through the apostles. Okay, because that's why the spirits roll up in us to what do more videos. That's right. right. Keep reading. It says, "Provoke him not." For he will not pardon your transgressions, for my name is in him. Keep reading. But if thou shalt indeed obey his voice and do all that I speak, then I will be an enemy unto your unto thine enemies. That's right. So that's what we want, man, because we know Esau is a power, man. We always this Esau as if, as, if, as if he's nothing. And remember, he's the left hand of the Lord. Mm -hmm. Right? Even the Lord is ambidextrous. All right, Esau still is the sword. That was his blessing. All right, and the brother brought up today from the um, Mystery of the Kingdom. When that mm -hmm. blessing was given to him, he didn't say, "I don't want that. I don't want to be. I don't want the sword." He gladly accepted it. All right, he, he gladly accepted the fact that he's going to be the Lord's uh, 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 mercenary, if you will. Right, the Lord's strong arm on the left hand side. Okay, read. It says, um, for mine angel shall go before thee in a chariot. All right. This other was in a roll, man. Yeah. In a, in, in a blinged out chariot, you know, so to speak. Mm -hmm. I mean, I mean, no, no chariot. He's about to crash and they have something in, in, on the microscope and looking at it in, in a big <laughs> screen. And, this is madness. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. All that stuff. All that stuff is just to sidetrack. Yes, fantasy, right? It's just a sidetrack <laughs> the Israelites in, in um, from basically receiving the truth because everything everything links up. And Esau is so nervous that you know if if any uh, you Israelites recognize that these are actually chariots of the Heavenly Father that are uh, used to redeem you, he's afraid that you might wake up to the truth. But mm -hmm. you know what? Those that are to uh, not understand the signs in, in heaven. Are already mm -hmm. sealed not to understand them, and those that are sealed to understand them are already out there understanding them and teaching them, you know. Mm -hmm. So it says, uh, For mine angel shall go before thee and bring thee in unto the Amorites. So that's other nations, man. So the Lord, it says, an adversary. So we, we skip past an adversary unto the adversaries, right? So the word adversary is going to the word what Satan, Satan. Right, so the Lord is against Satan, and who is that? The so called white man, that's mm -hmm. called the devil and Satan. Mm -hmm. Right, he's the arch enemy. Okay, and Psalms 83 points out all these other nations who are enemy to the Lord and also enemies to us, man. That's right. right. This is why the host of the, of the Holy Father is come back to what ridicule these naysayers, man. All right, mm -hmm. scoffers, liars. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you know, we can't. And, um, you know, just real quick on this point, on this verse here, it says, For my angel, before thee, um, and bring thee into the Amorites, unto the Amorites, the Hittites, the Persicites, the Canaanites, the Hivites, and the Jebusites, and I will cut them off. And these are basically all the different, uh, the sons of Ham God. that were in the land of Israel, you see. And, uh, Basically, like the brother was saying, man, Yahweh Shai would be would fight would fight our battles for us in them chariots for us to get into that land. Mm -hmm. see? So now he's coming back again in this second Exodus to fight 
all right, to be an adversary onto our adversaries, okay, so we can eventually or evidently be set up in the land again, and that government could be established. I got a precept I'm going to bring out. I got actually two precepts. I'm going to go to Proverbs 5 and 21 real quick. Proverbs 5 and 21, and it reads, um, Lord Yahweh, and he pondereth all his goings, right? Um, his own, so basically the Heavenly Father, again, is, he sees everything, okay. all right? He sees everything. Um, his own iniquities shall take the wicked himself, and he shall he shall be holding with the cords of his sins, mm -hmm. right? The, you know all his uh, idol worshiping, his uh, the wickedness that Esau has spread out throughout the whole earth, alongside with uh, you Israelites that join hand in hand with him, man. Okay, starting at starting at the house of the Heavenly Father sanctuary, okay? It says, he shall die without instruction. Mm. And in the greatness of his folly, mm -hmm. he shall go astray. Right. You know, this is exactly mm -hmm. what's going to happen, man. All right, Esau is basically going to be kicked out, okay, out of rulership. And the Heavenly Father... It's going to be the one to do that to him by Shai. Now, let me get into uh, Isaiah 31. I'll start from two. I'm going to read down to nine. I might as well start from one. Um, it says here, Isaiah 31 and, and one. Woe unto them that go down to Egypt for help and stay on horses and trust in chariots because they are many and in horse in horsemen because they are very strong but they look not unto the holy one of israel neither seek the lord yahweh yea he also is wise and will bring evil and will not call back his words. So right. his prophecies are faithful and true. That's right. So what was said aforetime, right? The Lord is not slack as it pertains to bringing judgment to the earth. All right? So because the Lord is uh, is uh, being patient, right? Because mainly it's for the hopeful elect to be sealed, right? So when, when, when everything is at the right time, right? As prophesied, yeah. we're going to release those angels that have been holding back those winds. That's right. All right. God. It says, but I will arise against the house of the evildoers. And as the evildoers is going to mainly Esau, right? Because that spirit of wickedness has encompassed the whole earth. Mm -hmm. so you have other nations, right? Subscribing to that man's doctrine of witchcraft. Yeah. All right. Yeah. It says, and against the help of them that work iniquity. Fine. So iniquity is going into sins, man. Yep. All right. <clears throat> and uh, uh, make no uh, make no question, man. The other nations are also involved. That's right. It says the help of them that work iniquity. That's right. Okay. Um, verse three says, now the Egyptians are men, okay, and not God, and they're horses flesh and not spirit you see <laughs> and this is exactly you know, this is bad because we know uh, modern day egypt is america and this is going into his military his uh his fighter jets that he has you know and you know all his uh technology uh that he's using now he's he's uh comparing it or uh coping it with uh uh, blending it with AI technology, trying to catch up to the technology of the chariots, man. But he can't do it. So it says here, the horses are horses flesh and not spirit. Because the angels are, or the chariots are actually spirits. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's why they can move the way they move. When the Lord Yahweh shall stretch out his hand. Okay. Starting with Yahweh Shai. 
That's right. Both he that helpeth shall fall, right? Because remember, when Yahushai appears on earth, all the nations are going to stop fighting themselves and turn to fight against Yahushai. Okay? And he that is hoping shall fall down, which is another word uh, for helping, shall fall down, and they all shall fail together. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you see, mm -hmm. all these nations with their fighter jets and um, uh, aerial uh, warcraft are going to fail together in fighting against the Heavenly Father or fighting against Yahweh Shai and the angels. Mm -hmm. For mm -hmm. thus has the Lord Yahweh spoken unto me, like as the lion and the young lion roaring on his prey. When a multitude of shepherds is called forth against him, he will not be afraid of their voices, of their voice, nor abase himself for the noise of them. So shall the Lord Yahweh of hosts come down to fight for Mount Zion and for the hill thereof. You see? So that's what the, this, all these um, UAP sightings are basically a foreshadowing of the Lord, you know, fighting on the behalf of Israel, man. Okay. And, and basically subduing our enemies and setting us up, okay, uh, to, to administer righteousness and to rule. Gone. Okay. And, and the long, young lion represent like a lion that's full of vigor, right? So this a hungry young lion, you know, sees his prey. Right. And you have these, you know, I'm a shoe. Which one of you guys are going to eat? Time, time, time. <laughs> Who's going to yeah. eat first? Yeah. <laughs> so that's your hour shy, man, you know? So no matter what you do, you can't turn this this judgment back, man. Right? It's ripe and ready for the for the taking. That's right. That's yeah. right. Verse five, it says, as birds flying, right? So will the Lord, Yahweh of hosts, defend Jerusalem. Defending also he will deliver it, and passing over, he will preserve it. You see? So guess what? When the hopeful let some some of the hopeful let when um, when they overcome certain events that go through in Jacob's trouble, they're gonna overcome it by the help of these chariots. <laughs> you see, passing over, he will preserve them, pre preserve it. Okay, and that's and we know that uh, Jerusalem is the people before it's the place. That's why uh, John John said what he said about in Revelation. He saw Jerusalem coming down from heaven okay but really he saw the whole full elect descending from the chariots okay it says verse six turn ye unto him from whom the children of israel have deeply revolted you see and uh you two-thirds man you deeply revolted against the heavenly father okay and you're also going to get caught up in the judgment that the chariots are going to administer on esau and the other nations it says, for in that day, every man shall cast away his idols of silver and his idols of gold, which mm -hmm. your own hand have made unto you for a sin. Right. Because when the world is faced uh, with the blunt uh, uh, with the blunt sight of the chariots of the Heavenly Father. OK, you're, you're not going to you're going to at that time, you're not going to look at Jesus Christ or whoever you believe in to save you mm -hmm. you're going to be you're going to be too shocked mm -hmm. and, and too caught and uh, uh too struck and, and, right. and struck with fear mm -hmm. you know right. it says verse eight then shall the assyrian fall with the sword in the modern day assyrian today is esau not of a mighty man and the sword, not of a mean man, shall devour him, but he shall flee from the sword, and his young men shall be discomforted, and he shall pass over to his stronghold for fear. And basically, back then, you know, um, the Lord had angels, or right, the chariots fight a lot of our battles with the Assyrians, like the Northern Kingdom. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty, pretty much all our battles. Yeah. The uh, same thing. You basically saying that it's, it's all our battles, visible or invisible. Uh, um, I, I just wanted to mention, it's time to go to that verse twenty, right? Mm -hmm. Of uh, uh, excuse me, of um, what I read in Sirach, what you read in Sirach. Mm -hmm. If you could go to it now, right? Because that was the point there, because your brother's been prophesying about the state of the angels and their work and how they're syn synonymous with the Lord's uh, chariots, right, <laughs> doing the work. So if you could just go to verse 20 of Sirach when you get a chance, brother, mm -hmm. uh, of Sirach, excuse me, 23 and 19 and 20, but the 20th verse, when you get a chance, brother. Okay. Can finish it up the mouth? Yeah. So it says, and he shall pass over his stronghold mm -hmm. slash, he shall pass over to his stronghold for fear and those bunkers so mm -hmm. the Medemites will be safe in their bunkers today mm -hmm. in this time okay and it says and his princes shall be afraid of the ensign right right safe which is the chief kings of uh, these different nations they're going to be uh closed up in their bunkers watching these chariots and guess what even though they're going to be safe they're going to be afraid watching them chariots do damage man mm -hmm. it says saith saith the lord yahweh whose fire is in zion and his furnace in jerusalem okay which wow. is basically the, the you know um that uh, uh what's it called uh the iron um that's the iron scepter Okay. Iron weapon. Say it again. Iron weapon. Iron weapon. Yeah, iron yeah. weapon is a good term for it too. Which uh, we're going to be ruling these uh, these nations with uh, iron uh, iron scepter. Right. Okay. Which is which represents a rigorous rule. Rod of iron. Rod of. Bob <laughs> head. That's right. That's right. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's right. With a rod. It's of not iron. made. It's not made of hands. Yeah. Con. <clears throat> okay, so that was it for me. Uh, you want me to go to Sirach, right? Yeah, the twentieth verse, because yeah, that was that was actually the point was supposed to be read, but the scripture came out in regards to the function of the Lord's angels versus what we're what we're, what we're watching here here, and uh, we know in our experience how we've been loved by the Lord's angels. Whether they, whether those experiences were visible or in, invisible, but this is the re uh, record here. I like how it's said. That's why they have to hide this book. They don't want us to go into this book, the apocrypha. Go ahead, brother. The twentieth verse. That's the point. You can read nineteen and twenty together again. This will refresh. All right. So this is uh, Sirach twenty-three and nineteen. Such a man only feareth the eyes of men. And knoweth not that the eyes of the Lord Yahweh are ten thousand times brighter than the sun, beholding all the ways of men, and considering the most secret parts, he kn he knew all things, ever, or er, ever they were, which which means before ever they were created. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So also after they were uh, perfected, he looked upon them all. This man shall be punished in the streets of the city, and where he su suspecteth not, he shall be taken. That's right. Mm -hmm. But yeah, simply put, he was just letting, giving us insight into his creation. Now I was looking for. Uh, there's another precept in in the book. I I, I don't have my. That uh, Oh, my phone is going. Hold on, brother. Oh, too high. Yeah, yeah, I was just saying there's another precept that I was looking for in the Apocrypha that talks about the angels are perfect and they cannot sin. If uh, my brothers are on the common board could post that, right? Because I was looking for it the whole entire time. And it links with uh, 19 and all the other precepts that came out in regards to the function of uh, the Lord's uh, angels. Okay? Okay. The yeah. Okay, go ahead, go ahead. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Malak or Muffley, please. 
Yeah. A muffin? Yeah. Okay, okay. It turned on. No, no. Uh, mm. But uh, in, in case of the lesson, any any uh, lasting precepts or statements from brothers? Gone. Gone. So, uh, yeah, man, just straightforward lesson. You know, it's always good for us to keep in mind uh, the chariots, all right, which are the, yeah, the chariots of the Heavenly Father. And um, to always, uh, you know, see them as our salvation, man. All right, you Israelites out there that uh, are sincere, you know, you have to know that there is no such thing as little green men and all this hoopla and nonsense that Esau is trying to get you to believe, man. These are the chariots of the Heavenly Father that were mm -hmm. always there with Israel in all their battles, in all their captivities, okay? Going back to, uh, heck, going back to when Enoch got beamed up before the flood, okay? So... Anyways, with that, we're going to close this lesson. Low will, and this was edifying to the whole full elect of the nation of Israel. Okay, we're going to close by giving all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh. All right, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Green Millstone who rule well and have taught us this word in truth and sincerity. And peace and mercy to the whole full elect that are also pushing this word in uh, truth and sincerity across the four corners of the earth, as well as your little amount of sisters that believe. We're going to say uh, ball, ball, ball. A ball, 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 ball. And uh, Lil Wellington, next live lesson, we say shalom to the whole full left. Shalom to the whole left. I can get that.